do you want to become a cabin crew? Did you always have a passion to go and fly the friendly skies and become a cabin crew for a local or an international airline? If you do, then please go ahead and watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to be talking about what exactly are the interviewers looking for when you go to that interview room and how you should present yourself so that you can crack that interview for yourself. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nidhi and you're watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. Let me tell you what are the qualities of a cabin crew that you should actually present when you are at that cabin crew interview. First and foremost, every cabin crew is approachable. That is the first and foremost quality any and every cabin crew uh, basically possesses. Now, uh, to be able to uh, present yourself as an approachable person, you really need to have uh, good body language, which means you always, always have to ensure that you show an open gesture at all times. Like, do not stand like this with your arms closed, or uh, always ensure that you have this smile on your face at all times, regardless of anyone talking to you or not talking to you. So you come across as somebody who's really, really approachable. So that is the first quality that you need to present uh, when you're at the interview. The second quality that you need to present at the interview is uh, somebody who is confident but not super confident. Always, always remember, cabin crew are the people who go out there and help people. These are the people who listen to passengers. These are the people who take care of the passengers on board the flight. So uh, interviewers are actually not looking for someone who has this great personality and who's like super confident. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna take care of the passengers and uh, I can do this and I'm really good at this and I have really great communication skills. So the interviewers are not looking for this personality. They're looking for someone who is confident, yet humble. So always remember it's very, very important to come across as someone who has a humble personality, who is ready to go out there and listen to passengers, who is ready to go out there and just do their best uh, in ensuring that they take care of their passengers. So this is the second quality that the interviewers are looking for. The third quality that the interviewers are looking for is someone who is able to communicate with people. And when I say communication, it's not about having the best English. It is not about uh, making the best sentences. It is not about coming up with extremely great answers. No, not really, trust me. Uh, when it comes to cabin crew communication, it is never, never about the great answers. It is always about how engaging you are socially. So when an interviewer asks you all these random questions, they're basically not trying to figure out if uh, you've done really good academically. They're not even trying to figure out if you have a great customer service background. They're basically just figuring out by asking these questions to you uh, that when uh, my passengers talk to you, would you be able to socially engage with them uh, the way you will answer, the way you will smile, the way your body language or your posture is? So that's what the basic communication means. Communication does not mean having the best English. So for all of you out there who keep asking me this question that do I, I do not have great English and I do not have uh, great comprehension, can I still go ahead and apply for the cabin crew interview? Yes, you can, because they're not looking for Queen's English. So you really, really don't have to worry about their they're just looking for someone who can basically have a certain amount of communication with the passengers to be able to relay certain messages because when it comes to safety and security you should be able to uh, put your message across and, and that's why exactly communication is also very very important when it comes to the job. Uh, the fourth quality that uh, the interviewers definitely look for is how genuine you are as a person when it comes to taking care of people. So you have to show that in your personality that you're somebody uh, who's capable of taking care of people. And you could show that by telling them about your past experiences, if you have had any with customer service, by giving them examples of how you have dealt with situations where passengers have been angry before, or uh, even just go ahead and tell them uh, in terms of what have you done in your past experience to take care of customers, or even if you don't have any past experience, what have you done in your school uh, to show them that you're this person who genuinely cares about people because that's what the cabin crew jobs is all about it's not just about looking pretty and serving meals on board it is also about genuinely caring for passengers uh, 
making sure that their journey, their experience from point A to point B is fantastic. It's not just a journey, but it's actually an experience. So that is uh, another quality that they definitely, definitely look out for. Uh, the fifth quality that all cabin crew interviewers look out for, and this is a very, very important and unique quality, is your personality. Now, um, I've come across a lot of people who tell me that, oh, they took up someone who, who didn't even talk very well, who didn't even, uh, you know, uh, give a great answer, who didn't even... Uh, uh, say what she was supposed to or he was supposed to but they still took that person uh, now the reason why they took that person is because they like their personality they like something unique about their personality so if you have a unique personality which everyone does use it to your advantage like in my case my unique personality is all about uh, telling people that hey I am somebody who loves engaging with people and um, I make an effort by uh, by doing that by using uh, uh, words by using my hands by using my eyes by using gestures uh, and and that is what my unique personality is all about so find what is your unique personality and how exactly can you impress the interviewers with your unique personality things that you do in your daily life but put it across in such a way that goes to show that you have this charming personality the last thing that the interviewers are definitely looking for is basically uh, your overall looks uh, so of course uh, cabin crew does not mean that you have to be the prettiest or the handsome looking people in the entire world uh, What it really means is basically how you present yourself in terms of your grooming uh, How much effort do you put in basically and just going out there and look making sure that you look nice and presentable so uh, For a lot of people who think that that's the first thing that they actually look out for that's really not true I mean why do you think they actually do a skin check right at the end of the interview? If they really wanted to just take people who are the most good looking people, who have the uh, most amazing skin, then they would go ahead and do that particular round of skin check right at the start, right? Uh, have you ever wondered why they don't do that? Well, the reason they don't do that is because that's not their priority. So to a lot of people who actually uh, ask me this question that I have acne, I have scars, should I go for the interview, should I not go for the interview? I always tell people, please, please go for the interview because uh, they will first go ahead and test you on the rest of the stuff and then in the end, they're going to go ahead and check your scars, your acne, and then they're going to tell you whether they're okay with it or they're not okay with it or uh, if they want you to do something about it. So uh, these are some of the qualities that I wanted to share with you that you should present uh, yourself as when you go for the interview to help you basically progress from one round to the other. I really hope that I was able to share some valuable information with you guys and uh, if I did, please do remember to like the video and do share it with people who are going for their cabin crew interview so that they can be uh, helped as well uh, through this video. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to watch the other videos as well where I've talked about how you can basically seemingly uh, go through the whole interview process, uh, especially for different airlines. And of course, uh, do not forget to press the notification bell for more video updates and in the meantime, all of you out there, stay pretty, stay handsome, and uh, all of you guys, bye!